Okay, hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually get started with Ember Rain. This is a new game that's really simil uh, similar to Rogue Lineage and it's pretty fun. So yeah, if you want to see how to get started with this game, stay tuned. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing is when you log in, you will get uh, the ability to choose your uh, origin. So that's kind of like what you will get. There are uh, there are some stuff you will get. So there there are like skill points you will get, like maybe three three to four points, depend depending on what you get uh, what what you get. So you can maybe get knight. Uh, best junior, uh, noble, stuff like that. So there's a Trello. You can check out the Trello and uh, see what you would like to get. That will really depend on what build you're going for. So it's basically like classes, like here, Pat. I got Defender, so I basically get uh, 50 more health and I get um, this move. So I get like buffs, you know, it's pretty cool. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty uh, that's pretty uh, pretty fun. Like the origins, there are a lot of origins you can uh, choose from. But I would suggest you guys to look it up what you would like to. So if you want uh, to go fighter, for example, you can go knight or noble or bastion. That something that will give you some value, de depending on what you want to go for, right? Okay, next thing, uh, once you spawn in, so you will be here in the Everflame. You can talk to a lot of NPCs, okay? And some of them will give you free stuff. So I suggest you talk to, like, literally everyone. Bro, this is a safe zone, come on, man. Chill out. And, like, talk to everyone. I know this guy, if you bring him a, a feather, like an ember feather or something like that, will give you... An ability this guy teaches you how to start out with the game and there's some useful tips right there this guy will open the door so you can get out these people don't do anything I think so yeah and also there are like quests uh, stuff like stuff like that you can uh, you can try to do this one this guy gives you like I'm pretty sure it's it, it, no, it's not this one. It's like uh, rapid punches, something like something like that. It's pretty cool. So you can go around, see the map, how, like, see the the village or city, whatever this is. And here is the here is Rusty, I think his name was. I'm not sure. Yeah, Rusty. So it's pretty cool. I need to defeat Sylvia. This is one of the bosses in the game. Also, this guy gives you uh, some quests. This this uh, this guy give this girl, I guess, uh, gives you quests like every time. A Rusty gives you every like fifteen hours or twelve hours, something like that. After that, you can go out and explore the map for a bit. You can find uh, find find out in the Trello like what your path needs. So you can go out, go and try to get that. So let's say for for defender, we need five points in total uh, between uh, constitution and dexterity. So you can try to get to like level two, three, put some points in because you already because of the origin, I already got three points into them. I'm gonna put like some points here, and I'm ready, right? I also need to take some damage. Like I need a, I needed to get like three hundred damage, like someone to beat me up, but I. I don't I I couldn't die if I died it would reset so I didn't die I got the path I found the find found out where it is and I got defender right I'm going for Wall warlord something like that I tried to get it but it somehow glitched but it's fine we're gonna do that in a in another video also here are like spawn points you can uh, you can click on them by pressing this on the keyboard i'm not sure like equals i'm not sure how 
how this is called in in english but you get it okay uh, it's not that hard so you can get a lot of spawn points here and when when you click them you get spawned there right really simple also uh here is where you get warlord uh, let's see let's see what do i need to do i need to kill 30 people like only with my sword and without dying so i did that wait what can you teach me So yeah, I need to kill people. Yeah, I need to kill some people. Okay, simple. So I need to kill NPCs or people. So I'm going to be doing that in another video though. So we're chill. We're chilling, okay? You can find also like... You can find some NPCs around the map. Like here it is. The wasp. Uh, they're pretty like strongish, I guess. If you ask me, they're not in crazy, but they're strong. So be careful with them. I think I already defeated it. Did I? I mean, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, it's fine. Like here is that place. Looks pretty decent. Um, also, after uh, leveling up and getting some money, you can get money by killing people, uh, selling gold. And I think that's it. I'm not sure if there's anything else. Or fishing. Yeah, fishing too. After getting some money, you can buy yourself maybe... Uh, here it is. Like, let, let's go to Merchant Street. What I would suggest to do. Like, buy some health potions. I got like 8. And you can consume them by pressing H, okay? It's really that easy. About the, um, the abilities, the skills. So when you press G, you can see it switches up. So you got you get combat and you get uh, utility. So utility basically uh, gives you some type of movement, something like that. Bandage maybe to heal up. Phoenix fire. This is like a torch, a little torch. Rally. This is the one I'm using like uh, for the buffs. You press T, you regain mana. Pretty pretty simple stuff. Let and when you go to combat, you want to fight someone, let's say, and here are the moves. Wait, here it is. You have different types, right? It's different because you cannot get everything. So when you want to learn something, you got like a, a skill, let's say. You go to learn and after every level up, you get one uh, skill point for learning a new skill, right? It's really that simple. And you just click on it and you get the uh, skill. And also you get one uh, attribute po point. So you can get maybe, like, let's say, constitution. Boom, you get it. Simple. And when you want to equip it, you just click on this. And let's see, here. Easy. Pretty easy. And let's say I want ice pillar. Here it is. Ice pillar. You get it? Really easy, really simple stuff. What was it? Holy Smite was it? It was, yes. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the combat. Now, uh, I'm gonna show you some places that you can go to and farm some EXP. Okay, so here we are. We're at the Haven Cross Wall. Uh, you can uh, get here by going to... to the from the jungle, I think it was. I'm not completely sure though. Or oh, no 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 no. Um, at the Merchant Street, that's at like um, at the city, you climb up and you will get to here. You just need to go down. And here you have slimes to kill. Slimes are pretty decent for beginners. And after the slimes, you can come down here. I will show you uh, two more places, three more places actually. Here you have an enemy. This is, uh, these are the bandits. The two bandits spawn right there. One of them is here, one of them is there. So, yeah. Okay, when this happens, you can parry. Okay, so. Okay, the, yo, that's crazy. And now you just kill him. It, it's not that hard. They're pretty easy to kill. 
Easy, come on, bro. Fight me. Fight me. Oh no, I'm going to die. Loser. Here is the fighter trainer. I mean, I cannot get trained, bro. Come on, it's not fair. I'm gonna cry. I'm joking. It's fine. Here, when you when you get to here, you can go down and fight with uh, these knights, but they're kind of strongish, so be careful. And if you go here, you can find. Uh, I'm not sure what Myra doers or something like that. That's how. They were cold and you can fight with them they're not that hard to to kill it's pretty easy let, let me show you I'm gonna I'm kill one of them right now this this move I have it's really good it's crazy good it's OP and he's dead is that simple I mean I'm pretty pretty strongish I have like 12 levels on me so it's of course uh, a plus but you you can you can kill them easily it so this one and there are more uh, npcs down here and on the right if you fall down there's a path actually which you can go to i'm gonna show you right now wait for, yeah it was here and there are npcs here too so let's see the slimes have like a weird hitbox, so be careful with them. I mean, they do not do like serious damage, but it's still annoying. I'm gonna just run past him. And here are the NPCs you can kill. It's pretty, pretty cool stuff, honestly. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm fine, don't worry. Oh. Okay, I killed him. Oh crap, I'm dead. Yo, no way. I actually might die. No, no, no cap. I'm fine though, don't worry about it. Come here, bitch. What are you gonna do about it? Huh? huh? I know I'm stronger than you. And you know it too. Easy. And here are some trinkets you can pick up. Basically, you just click on them and you pick them up. Uh, I think you cannot pick things up. Uh, no, you can. It was just a pink. So, yeah, there you go. You just pick them up and you can sell to the merchants. And I think that's going to be it for this guide. Because that's all of the basics in the game. Like, you can start to explore, find things out yourself. Because that's the whole whole point of the game, like every rogue roguelike game, you need to explore to find things out by yourself and to have fun, right? And that's, yeah, that's basically it. So, yeah, if you have any questions, guys, if you found this video enjoyable, make sure to drop a comment, like, share, subscribe, and all that shit. And also, if you have any suggestions, drop them down in the comment. And yeah, that's gonna be it. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.